Hello, YouTube world. Duke here, Blue Tar Peel. It's been a little while since I posted stuff. Been pretty busy on the house and retaining walls and stuff like that. But I did want to do a quick video because uh, we got old Willie that we're doing something with. So if you're all on Facebook and stuff like that, you know, you've got a pretty decent deer. I named him Willie. And after about four or five years of growth, I called him old Willie. So uh, what we're doing tonight is making up batch of jerky out of a willy. So venison jerky. So I, I had to get another jerky gun. It had been several years since I had made some, but I got this particular uh, jerky gun, uh, Sigval, I believe it's called, all aluminum, stainless steel. The cool thing about this one, it has a double, um, a, a double distributor, I guess, for flat jerky strips. Now, excuse the mess. I just got done making a batch, but uh, pretty nice. And then, of course, in the box, it has uh, where you can do double. Uh, you got double rounds, you know, bigger flat, and then uh, I believe, yeah, there's one there for, you know, like a, a Slim Jim. But uh, let me take you on over here. I want to show you what we got going. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, you can see uh, Duke uh, has the butchering clothes on, waiting for the next one to come. At any rate, here's my dehydrator. It's a charred dehydrator. We got this set at 150 degrees for five and a half hours. And oh, oh man, you can smell the spices. So we are full. And all the way down this is 10 pounds of meat, and I thought that's what the machine did until I uh, spread everything out, and I still have three empty trays up here. Um, so this will, will actually do 15 pounds of meat, but at any rate, um, it's on and popping. Um, I'm anticipating about 180 strips of jerky or something out there, and I've already got some in the freezer still waiting to... Uh, all out. So if you all weren't up on the on the Facebook post I did, um, right there's old Willie. You know, pretty good deer. It uh, definitely uh, definitely happy with him. So um, at any rate, whenever you get done making a jerky, um, at the very end of the tube, if you ever did it, at the very end of the tube, you always end up with a little bit. I was talking to Hunnabun just a little while ago, and she said, but well, did you, you know, uh, go ahead and fry any of that up to try it? I said, ah, it probably won't taste the same as a, as like a burger or something. And it won't, but I'm not going to waste deer meat. So over here in the pan, let me get the light turned on. We've got, that is uh, jerky burgers. I'm going to give it a try. Why not? Um... And also on the jerky mix, uh, of course, the products are store-bought, but we use, uh, Shirley and I have been using, um, I, did I just call Hunter Bun Shirley? Are you kidding me? Hunter Bun and I um, just kind of make our own batches up, put it in a pan and, you know, spread it around, don't measure anything out. We've been doing it that way for years. matter of fact, back a couple years ago, um, uh, more than a couple, we're probably talking about six years ago, we had gotten to a jerky making contest where we did about ten different flavors. I think she even had one that was coffee flavored. And we bagged it all up, took it into the office, and let all the guys tell us which one was which. And I actually think she uh, beat my rear end on that, but uh, that's all right. Hunter Bun's an excellent cook, and she knows more about that stuff than I do. But at any rate, just want to update you on what's going on with that. Got the jerky machine over there running. We got jerky burgers in the pan, and I got a mess to clean up. But other than that, I love it. Also, picked up a nice gun safe. I just happened to notice it from um, one of the guys down at work. Cut me a great deal on it. And uh, got the crossbows up and hanging. And if everything turns out okay with this jerky, I still have a few more tags left. We'll just see what we can put in the freezer uh, within the next couple of weeks if I am liking what's coming out. And I'm sure that I am. Other than that, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Blue Tarp Hill, Life on the Mountain. Wouldn't have it any other way. God bless.